I want you to take that off the table very carefully, only holding the handle. It might be heavy. Use both hands. Can you hold it up so I can see what kind it is? What's good, it's your boy Bucks, and welcome to another analog horror series called Angel Hair. This one comes from a YouTube channel called The East Patch. So make sure y'all go over and subscribe and like all their videos. Episode one, Remembering Angel Hair. All right, let's check it out. Never forgot you. Okay. Oh, guardian angel, please hear me, I pray. <laughs> this special request. Six week event. I'm making today. Oh, it's buried. Don't send me riches or earthly fame. East Patch Productions. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? That's a beautiful name. It's wonderful to meet you, and I hope we can be friends. I don't know why that got staticky and weird at the last three seconds of that, but she seems like a, a nice person. Tape one, you were an angel. My child, memories are spotty and few. But yesterday I found something. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Some of y'all don't know nothing about this, bro. Y'all don't even know what that was just now. That was a VHS cover, bro. That's the little box that the VHS tapes used to come in. When you used to go to the store and actually buy VHS tapes, nobody does that anymore. But when we used to back in the day, oh my God, I'm sounding old, bro. I'm really aging myself. Some of y'all don't know the joy of going to Blockbuster and searching for a new release, but we gonna, we gonna leave that at that. <laughs> I saw this tape in a thrift store. It overwhelmed me with feelings of comfort. Oh man, the show was my comfort, my escape. But when I put in the tape, it wasn't the same. So last night I dug up our recorded copies so I can show you. Mm. Okay, let's do it. Angel Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. <laughs> Good morning, Francis. Well, I love Angel to hear you fly? call. Oh, have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. That's okay, Francis. Meeting new people doesn't have to be scary. Just introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? Oh, wait. She's talking to me. That's a uh, beautiful Bucks. name. My name is Bucks. It's wonderful to meet you, <laughs> and I hope we can be friends. Fear should never control you, Francis. I'll show you how to meet someone new. First, you introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabriel. What's yours? It's wonderful Bucks? to meet you, Jonah. I hope I can be oh, a good I guess friend to you. My name you. is Jonah. <laughs> I thought I remembered the show having a main character named Jonah. It was special because my name is Jonah too. Another way to mm. make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's great. Sharing something important lets others learn about what makes you special. If I didn't have these recordings. Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's Wait, a great book. looking over there? Just like Babe, you can grow up to do whatever you want, Jonah. That's what makes you special. Oh, made me feel so empowered. The series had six episodes. I have to check them all. I have to remember everything. Okay, this is tape one. From what we're getting from tape one, um, Jonah, who's the main character or who's the person watching these videos, he went and found these VHS tapes 
at the thrift store, but he remembers them a little bit different. So in the versions that he actually recorded while he was watching the show, it seems like the angel Gabriel is speaking to him directly, but he didn't realize this because obviously his name is Jonah and he thought that the main character was named Jonah, but maybe the tapes at the actual thrift store, maybe there wasn't a person named Jonah. So maybe that's the difference. He felt like the ones that he recorded were speaking to him directly. Angel Hair's Cursed Lessons Uncut. By KP Publishing. Repackaged old kids shows but went bankrupt in the late 1990s. The original publisher though. Online, not in business records. Differences no longer subtle. Ooh, okay, here we go. It's a beautiful day, Francis. We shouldn't take it for granted. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. Oh, Francis. I it's feel simple. You, Francis. Faith and hope give us the strength to face every challenge. That's right. It may not make us physically strong, but it can give us resolve and fortitude when we need it. I could certainly use some fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why it would be different for me. The sun is warm sometimes, Jonah, but you shouldn't forget the moments when it burns you. Mm. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength okay, so to face she's talking the to day? Me. All the rain has got me shivery and sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort and fortitude to be brave during times of heat. Whoa, okay. So right there, I just noticed the difference because she just addressed him. She just, you know, said that line and Francis did too. He already said his line, but right after he said his line, Gabriel or Gabby addressed me with some kind of words of wisdom, you know? And then when he just said it again, she's like, okay, why are you making me repeat myself? Kind of attitude, you know what I mean? Very sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort. And it's like an attitude. To be brave during times of like when people make you repeat themselves? I can show you how to be stronger, use some even though you're so small. <laughs> oh. Okay. So it seems like she wasn't even addressing uh, Francis, the second time just now. I don't know why I was told these things. Hmm. All the rain has got me shivery and sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort and fortitude to be brave during times of heat. Hmm, okay. I can show you how to be Certainly stronger, use some fortitude. even though you're so small. <laughs> was she talking to me as a kid? Jonah, I'm small. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. You'll never cross if you give in to despair, friend Francis. Let's Can't follow Francis the stream swim? and look for a narrow crossing. This will do us a lot more good than surrendering to despair. I That's see, easy Gab for you to say. You can fly, Gabby. <laughs> narrow crossing. Okay. This will do us a lot more good than surrendering to despair. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. Homie, you can go underground. I thought it was a game. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. This is the one he recorded. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. In the darkest times, you must never despair, Jonana. It is mm, our greatest Okay, she enemy. said my name. Strength will be your ally, and I will show you how to be strong. I see, Gabby. Okay, that's different. Me a lot of She's going up into her house. We feel safest where we go to sleep. Do you want your room to feel safe? Absolutely. I thought it was luck that she always knew what I needed. First, let me show you how you can be stronger than your enemy. Like David's little pebble against Goliath, this little chair is going to be stronger than anyone who comes to your door. Whoa. If we put it backwards like this, it will be like your own lock and key. Look at that. It's so strong. Now let's get in the closet. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So Gabriel the angel, or I keep saying Gabriel. Is it Gabriel or Gabby? Let's just say Gabby, because friendly Gabby. She's, for whatever reason, showing me how to protect myself. Maybe she sees something that's going on in my life. Maybe she knows something. Because she's showing me how to lock myself in my room while I'm sleeping so that I can be protected 
Protected from what, though? The dark can be scary, but it can also be peaceful. Instead of letting the sounds and darkness make you fearful, look at God's blessings and concentrate hard on something you're thankful for. This is how your mind can be strong, too. Mm -hmm. I like to take a big, slow breath to keep me calm. <sighs> Would you like to try? Very good, Jonah. Now you don't have to be scared. Oh. Even if he finds you. Whoa! Even if who finds me? Who's looking for me? That's the question. Is this a parent? Is this my parent? Is this a bully who comes in the middle of the night? What's happening right now? She's obviously preparing me for something. He. When he comes, my mom and I. Forgotten. We weren't always alone. We weren't always alone. So did mom get a new boyfriend? Are we talking stepdad kinda? Is the stepdad abusive? Okay, I think I might see where this is going. I might see where this is going, okay. Okay, this is the first bonus tape that we have. Lost. Okay. Letters with Angel Gabby. Hello there. No, I'm not Angel Gabby. She's busy today, so I have the privilege of answering your questions on her behalf. I sure hope I can do a good job for y'all. All right. Our first letter is from Bleeding Heart Doves. She asks Bleeding if Heart there are Doves. any other angel hairs. What a lovely question. Thank you, Bleeding Heart Doves. Personally, I haven't met any angels other than Gabby. She's my dearest friend. Maybe that's only guardian angel. Really. His anyway, only friend. There's certainly more angel hairs out there, but they have a lot of responsibilities that keep them very busy. Here's some art I've collected over time of some of Gabby's angel friends. Aren't they lovely? Our next question is from Stephanie. Thanks for writing, Steph. Oh my. She writes, are there any demon hairs? Demon As hairs? As a matter of fact, there's quite a diverse lexicon of... <laughs> well, uh, she doesn't like me talking about all that. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to talk about the, the demon stuff. when Gabby and I get a little giddy together, she'll tell some stories. I sure wish I could share more. But just know that demon hairs don't always appear as plainly as a rabbit with horns. Mm. Sometimes they look like an opportunity or a feeling. Well, I'm sure glad you wrote to us, Steph, and Gabby sends her love. Keep writing in, friends. Gabby loves to hear you call. Goodbye. Okay. Maybe Gabby has her own demons that she's hiding and doesn't really want to talk about it until she gets with Francis. Maybe when they have their, you know, their best friend, buddy, alone time, she's able to open up with her friend, Francis, because... He may be helping her also deal with her own demons just as much as she's trying to help Francis deal with the everyday, you know, kind of issues, which could be the same way that, that she's trying to help Jonah. Tape three, what big ears you have. My mom said mine were from horseplay as a child. I don't know what to believe in. Okay, hold on, let's... Pause this. Dillinger, guardian angel, making friends. Okay, guardian angel, armor of good, of, of God. The sword in the stone. Andy Griffith, if you're you're from the 90s, you definitely know who Andy Griffith is. Batman. Oh, God. Dealing with bullies. Mm, okay, this one could have something to do with what's really going on. Dealing with bullies. Sometimes you need a guardian angel to kind of tell you the right path to deal with bullies. And maybe that's what I'm getting out of watching these videos or watching my favorite cartoon. That could be why it's my favorite. But I know I won't stop digging. Not till everything is clear. Episode three, she broke character mid show. Uh oh. Here I'll feel safer with this the way you wield that sword. These are nice props to demonstrate God's armor. Mm -hmm. But remember, Francis, the real sword of the spirit isn't a weapon. 
Ephesians says it's the sharp wit and powerful depth of his word. Oh, good. I'm no good at fighting mm. actual battles. Not, not once if he's not coming back for a while. Was she watching me? Jonah, you're a very brave and very special one of God's children. No, no, it's it's all right if you weren't listening. Do you remember what we decided to do if you're ever afraid? Is that even possible? I want you to take that off the table very carefully, only holding the handle. It might be heavy. Use both hands. Can you hold it up so I can see what kind it is? Now that we've got the pieces apart, let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them for harm. No, Jonah. Not the kitchen. A lot of people hide things in the kitchen and there's too much traffic for it to be safe. What the... No, not the toy chest in your room. It would be very incriminating. Oh, we can learn that word later, but it could get you into trouble. Gabby teaching me big words too? Good, good. Now, see if you can put the book back in front of it. Wonderful She's job. Be slow and steady it... as you climb back down. Is I completely alone at such a young age? Yo, what is she helping me hide? Because obviously she's helping me prepare for something. This person. And it seems like she's got me hiding a weapon. I think the belt of truth doesn't quite fit around me. Does that mean I'm extra honest? Or... No, I'll I mean, you get thick, my boy. Well in any case, now... Where did she go? I hope we'll never have to draw a weapon. But as your guardian angel? Thank you. What happened to my angel? I'll always be ready. Mmm. She's my guardian angel. And she's saying she, that she's ready for war. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. I gotta have a guardian angel that's ready to go to war for me. You know what I'm saying? I like that. But where did she go off the screen? While Francis was fitting on the truth belt or whatever the heck he just said, she went somewhere and then she came back spitting bars talking about she ready for war. I like that. Next episode, episode four. Little white alibis. I should be confused. But there's only... Oh, I love you and a sense of dread that something happened, that something tore us apart. I won't be waiting when Am I complicit? I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me, but I shouldn't have lied. No, you shouldn't have. It hurt my feelings that you would take one of my angel feathers, but it hurt me so much more that you would lie about it, Francis. Will you ever forgive me? The Bible tells us to forgive. But Proverbs 19 also warns us about the consequences of lying. Mm. Do you think we should forgive Francis now that he's apologized? Francis is supposed to be our friend, but he stole from us. I don't really, I don't really appreciate that, Francis. But is this his first offense? Is this the first time? We should. That's very nice mm -hmm. of you. It shows a lot of courage to be merciful toward others. Francis, I forgive you. That's so kind of you, Gabby. She's like a completely different person. I'm sorry, Gabby. This is the VCR I was scared recording. you'd be mad at me, but I shouldn't have lied. Honesty is important, Jonah. You should always tell the truth. Mm. If you know you're going to be in trouble, you should create a truth for later. Will you ever forgive me? Go to a friend's house when something bad happens, and you won't have to lie about it when they ask you later. Mm. They are going to ask you what happened, Jonah. So you have to make sure you're gone when the time comes. We have to make sure you only have truth to tell. She's planning my alibi. Alibi for what, though? You can forgive Francis if you want, but it will be difficult to ever trust him again. Revelations warns us of the place prepared for liars. It's up to you, Jonah. What would you like me to do? 
I look for incident reports. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I look for incident reports in my hometown. But there was a flood at the municipal building. It's it's all right. Take your time and think about it. It's not an easy decision. Water crews arrived and were able to essentially close the floodgates, mm. but not before the damage was done. It's gonna take I was thinking the same thing. I'll help you however I can. But I I ever saw your face. Yo, Gabby is a whole accessory to murder? So Gabby saw whatever was going on in my house. She helped me plan to protect myself by hiding a weapon somewhere up in my room and then created an alibi for me and got rid of the evidence. Yo, Gabby is on some ride or die type stuff. I like that. I like that. I mean, obviously I don't like the, the implied murder part, but if something is really happening to me and she's helping me defend myself, absolutely, I'm all for it. All right, take five, footage not found. I took a trip back home. Where we first met. I don't want to scare my mom. But I'm about to tell her something happened to your boyfriend and I did it. God. So I haven't told her why I'm here. But I'm going up in the attic to find those freaking VHS tapes to search for anything from my childhood. I didn't expect to find so much. children may break many balloons and the experimenter may try to find out whether he feels any guilt about the destruction when the wind blows the cradle rocks the bow breaks and down come our babies cradles and all children witnessing violent events on television beginning at one year of age the child is trying to interpret what he sees and he feels danger get back to your home that are a little different. Hmm. Whether it's ex wait, wait, wait. Before we go on, so I wonder if this is his mom's tapes, like of the stuff that she was going through and how she tr tried to like cope with it because she was seeing stuff on TV, and maybe she had a childhood friend also. Because I'm thinking that these VHS tapes were his mother's. I don't think these are his VHS tapes because this isn't the angel hair stuff. So this must have been like the stuff that was happening before Jonah. Exposure to the television programming itself or the family and social conditions that lead to children spending a lot of time yeah. watching it. Unfortunately, if the child does not smile, we cannot infer that he is not comprehending the event. If it's the programming itself, yep. the burden okay. appears to fall on the film industry. Whatever the combination is, it seems to be a fairly lethal combination. Not until I find out how to find my angel again. One of their neighbors kept on looking for them until they were found. If placed in a dark room, he would probably open his eyes while searching. an old friend used to say good night and good luck all right here we go another bonus tape lost media letters with gabby all right is gabby there this time Hello there i'm afraid angel no. gabby couldn't be here today but she's so thrilled with all the mail that's come in what is gabby out really doing? writing a lot there's so much of it i'll do my best to get through as much as i can 
Let's see. Here's a couple. Honey Bunny asks if there are other types of angel animals, and Tin Moose wants to know if there are other magical creatures. What fascinating questions. Thanks for being so curious, you two. Of course there are other magical creatures. Gabby isn't magical, after all. If you see a magical creature, it's probably an unholy apparition trying to lure you into trouble. <laughs> Trust me, even the friendly ones can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Hey, that's As a for other angel animals. Let's see, what do we have next? Koi asks if there is anyone in the woods besides the angel and the badger. My, my name is Francis. And uh. Natalia asks if there will be more friends showing up. Well, don't worry, Natalia and Koi. The forest is always buzzing with life. Today's just a little quiet. Like every day. Okay, next we have a couple letters from Mary Stone and Doom Gamer 3000. What lovely names. Thanks for writing, friends. They ask what Gabby's duties are, and if other angels like to come down and help. I think you'll be interested to know that Gabby has a lot of very busy angel friends. They have a lot of work to do all over the world, and their duty is to help those in need. If you keep an eye out, maybe you'll spot your local angel hair hopping around and helping people. Alrighty. Next is a letter from Frog. Frog asks how we get these letters, and if we know where they're coming from. That's a good question. What a funny question. That is a good question. We get our letters through the mail like everyone else, Frog. And they come from curious little writers just like you tuning in to watch your friends. Speaking of friends, our next letter is from R. Pakula. They write... Do you know how you became Jonah's guardian angel? Do you remember anything about Jonah? Whoa. Inky Lemon asks, how high can Gabby fly? What a funny question. Thanks for writing, Inky Lemon. I've seen Gabby fly so high, she disappears right into the sun. I don't know how to measure it in units of science, Wait, but she is... certainly is a good flyer. Is homie glitchy? That's all the time we have for today, friends. I appreciate your patience, and Wait, I hope you stay in touch. It's very comforting to know so many of you want to learn more about Gabby. She loves to hear you call. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. There's another letter here from a Vinay... 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 Another letter? Never mind. I, I can't pronounce it. Gabby, I asked this. What did you do, Nathan? Wait, who is Nathan? So maybe it's another viewer sending in a letter asking what Gabby really did because something went wrong, like somebody got hurt. So they think it was Gabby that did it. So they're asking, what did you do? Like, why were you gone? Why were you not here during, you know, letter time? So Gabby did something. Mmm, and it cut off right there. Okay. All right, take six, I final call. Like My recordings of her are set in stone. That's a lovely drawing, Jonah. The live broadcast is how she spoke. <laughs> That's silly, Jonah. People can't fly. Was where she lived. Don't worry. We can stay here as long as you need me to. I had to get her live at me. I feel insane, but I'm going to live stream an episode. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm letting her out. The colors show other animals that they're dangerous. Part of me is desperate for this to not work. We can be dangerous too, Jonah. He's gonna live stream? Or this to be all strange? He's gonna live stream We can videos. keep them away with just our banner. But I have to know for sure. Holy selections. What is that? Angel Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. Hello? Wait, he's actually straight? Um, Gabriel? No. Angel Gabby? Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. Oh my god. What? 
Um, it's it's me, Jonah. I'm here. He's talking. Do you to... remember me? I'm so happy to see you, Jonah. <laughs> Just look how well you've grown. Yo, that's crazy. He was actually able to live stream the video and talk to his guardian angel live. That was his Twitch account. Homie has a Twitch account. So this was interesting because it shows on how we call on our guardian angels to protect us. And it showed us how we as kids or Jonah as a kid, it showed how he used cartoons to get away from what was happening in real life. While he's just enjoying cartoons, it's really his guardian angel showing him how to protect himself. I mean, it didn't really say what Gabby was protecting Jonah from. It just said him. And I'm assuming it's his stepdad because he comes in the middle of the night. So he has to lock his doors. That's why he's afraid of the dark. So I'm obviously thinking that there's some kind of abuse here because obviously it's enough for Gabby to see this and see what's going on and see that he needs to protect himself. So she shows him where to find a weapon. So obviously I'm guessing it's a gun. She shows him where to hide it and then even gave Jonah an alibi just in case something goes down. So obviously it implies that something happens to whoever was hurting Jonah. And it also implies that the angel got rid of the evidence. I really like how this was done, man. It makes me want to go back and watch some of my old favorite cartoons just to see if there's anything different than what I remember. This really had some creepy elements to it, but I wouldn't really call it a horror because I don't think it was necessarily scary at all. This is more of a satisfying, more wholesome type of analog series. But all in all, I think it's really good, man. I think this was really well done. Um, this was the first season. I think there is a little bit more to this, but that was the first uh, season. It had six episodes to it, plus the two bonus tapes. But if you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this series, what you think is going on, and how you guys kind of interpret these kind of videos. Let me know. Shout out to the first time viewers and the last time viewers. I appreciate you either way. It's been your boy Bucks and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.